you hear miscellaneous talking in the background, it's because my neighbors are moving into their apartment and they're being really loud. Hey guys, it's V. Today I'm so, so excited to test a new product out for you guys. I know, two lasting impressions in a row. Who am I? But I'm super, super excited to test these out because funny story, I actually ordered them off of Walmart's website and I found them in stores today and my package from the website isn't supposed to be here till like Wednesday of next week and I really want to get this up for you guys. So I went ahead and bought them and then when I get those ones in the mail, if I really like them, then I'll just give them away to my friends. If I don't like them so much, I'll return the ones I got in the mail and just keep these ones. So this is the Maybelline Color Jolt Intense Lip Paint. And I'm so, so excited to test these out because I love the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks. And apparently these are supposed to be very, very... SB used to not be able to get onto my desk and now that she can, she jumps on there anytime she can. So if my camera randomly moves, it's because of that. <laughs> But apparently these are supposed to be a dupe for the Too Faced Melted. I don't personally have the shade that this one dupes. It's Melted Chihuahua, I believe. I, that's actually how I like found out about these was through Pinterest. I saw a post on these and I was like, what are those? I need to find them. And I found them on Walmart, hence my whole ordering situation. No need to repeat it. But I'm just going to swatch these out for you guys and then do a lasting impression on them. Wear test to see how they do throughout the day. I love just randomly throughout my video you see like SB moving different spots. So these aren't up online on Maybelline's website yet because I guess they're just like so new that they're not up so I don't have anything to read in terms of claims for them yet. So um, we're just gonna test them out and see how they wear. So let's just get into the swatching. So I got three different shades. I got the shade Violet Rebel number 40. I got the shade Berry Naughty which is number 35 and I also got the shade Stripped Down which is number 5. I'll show you guys a picture of the display here that was at my Walmart. I believe there was seven colors total. There might be eight. I'm not quite sure, but I think one of them might have been sold out at the time. And they were $7.73 a piece there. I need something to wipe my swatches off and I didn't grab it. So, so I'm going to go ahead and test the darkest one first, which is Violet Rebel number 40. And you guys can see what the applicator looks like. I did open these to make sure that I didn't get any used applicators because in the display that was next to the color jolts, someone had squeezed out an entire tube of this onto the display. What kind of terrible human being are you? That's a waste of a product. That's dirty for the employees to have to clean. Like why, why would you do that? That's just freaking malicious in my opinion. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze it out of here so you guys can see what it looks like. I love this applicator too. It's so comfortable to put on the lips. So I'm super, super excited to test this out. Wow, this is a really intense purple. It has kind of that artificial berry flavor, like fruity flavor, not my favorite, but it's not very strong. Really opaque going on, looks like. This applicator, oh. Seriously, one of my favorite type of lipstick applicators, these little spongy tips. I love them. This one isn't the best shade for my teeth, unfortunately. It doesn't really do them any favors in terms of making them look whiter, but it is a pretty shade. I really, really like the way these feel. So this one is Violet Vixen number 40. So far though, I'm really, really liking the formula of this. Comes off pretty easily with a makeup wipe. Okay, so the next color I'm going to try out is Berry Naughty. Ooh, so satisfying. I love how like thick these are. They're like sort of more of a cream rather than kind of a liquid. Like the Too Faced Melted are a little bit more liquidy than these. Okay, this berry color is gorgeous. Really, really pretty. Berry Naughty. It is so berry naughty. 
I don't know if these are supposed to dry matte. They don't really seem like it so far. The Too Faced Melted ones don't really start out matte either. They kind of start out cream and then get more matte as the day goes on. So I'm hoping that these are kind of like that because I really do like that formula and it's not very drying. So hopefully these ones are kind of like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and try the last color. And that'll be the color that I stick with because um, I don't really feel like taking it off and putting on a different one, even though this color is really, really pretty and I really like it. Ah, oh, shit. God damn it, Deanna. They don't stain the lips, which is good. I can't believe I did that. Whatever, I'll put more foundation down there later. <laughs> okay, so then the last color, which is the one I'm most excited about, is called Stripped Down, number five. Ooh, it looks so pretty. It's like a mauve -y, mauve -y nude. Should have brought over some concealer. Oh, it's not people moving in. It's actually people moving out. Okay, had to do a little bit of cleaning up from the previous colors, but this is the color Stripped Down. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom you guys back out. So I'm just going to go throughout my day. I'm gonna go ahead and keep on Stripped Down. I really, really like this color though. It's definitely unique. Like, I don't think I have one that's similar to this. So I'm excited. It's not super sticky. It just feels really, really creamy. Like I really, really like this so far. I'm really hoping that this lasts well throughout the day and doesn't make my lips feel dry. Cause right now it feels really, really creamy and really moisturizing. And I hope that it kind of dries down a little bit more matte, but I'd be okay if it was still like this. So we're definitely gonna see how this stays on. So right now it is 1.12 PM. So I'm just gonna keep this on for the rest of the day today and we'll see how it goes. See you guys in a couple of hours. time I thought since I just got done eating I would go ahead and show you guys what it looks like so I'm gonna zoom in so we can see what's going on make sure there's nothing in my teeth first okay so I just got done eating so it is 6 34 p.m. so what time did I put this on like 1 15 ish so it's been about five and a half hours or so before I ate it still looked really good I mean it had faded a little bit on the inner portion of my lip but not too much so I just want to say this formula is so comfortable at least for this shade i don't know about the other shades but the shade stripped down is seriously amazing i love this like i don't love lip products like it's really hard for me to love a lip product because i'm just not one to like keep it on all day long like i'll get annoyed with it and i'll take it off but i seriously forgot that i have this on like that is crazy I never do that seriously never so I really hope I'm really really hoping they come out with more shades in this like because a lot of them are kind of on the red side and I just don't wear like bright reds very often so if they come out with more nude shades and some more purple shades I'm gonna be all over these things so as you guys can see, what's left on there is kind of just a little bit around the outsides and it doesn't look bad. Like honestly, I wouldn't be embarrassed of this. The only thing is it did transfer to my chin a little bit, but I had a sandwich. So I mean, what are you gonna do? I'm just gonna put some concealer on that real quick just to uh, fix it up and we're Gucci. So yeah, I it's definitely not transfer proof. Like I showed you guys the can that I was drinking out of, it definitely will transfer, but it does like dry down a little bit more. It kind of is just a cream, like a cream formula, and I really, really like it so far. So I'm just gonna show you guys how it looks over itself, and then I think that really there's nothing else to say about it. I don't really think I need to keep it on any longer because it never claimed to last like 12 hours or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reapply it over itself, and then we will be done. I 
as I expected, applied really, really easily over itself. I'm seriously just like, I can't believe how much I like this because I don't like these kinds of things. Like, I cannot believe that I like this. I may even like it a little bit more than these. Like, crazy. If they make a shade dupe for a melted fig, it's gonna be over. They're gonna never be able to discontinue it because I'm just gonna be really upset and cry. So that is what it looks like over itself. Really, really good. It's super creamy still. It didn't bunch up. It didn't get crumbly, none of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys back out. I went and moved the bra that I had hanging back here. I would say sorry, but like everyone wears bras. So who cares if you guys see my bra? <laughs> I mean, it was just like random that it was chilling over there. Um, but I am really proud of this background like am I so YouTube or am I so YouTube you guys? <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I guess that's everything. I don't really think I need to check in again This will last you pretty much until you eat or if you eat something like chips or anything like that It'll probably still last through it for the lighter shade. It definitely faded gracefully I'm sure the darker shades would not fade as gracefully, but I love this. I love this I can't believe how much I love it but I love it. So I totally recommend at least going and getting the stripped down shade because it is super beautiful and I'm so excited to have this now. So yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. I hope this video was really helpful to you guys and if you liked it, be sure to show some love to the like button. Definitely helps me out a lot, definitely helps my channel. And if you subscribe, you can be a member of my Muse family and I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.